Howdy folks, it's Pixel and I'm here to play some EverQuest and uh, I'm on my character creation. My appearance, I'm going to have some gray hair and uh, unfortunately you can't start in Kelethin, you can only start in Crescent Reach so I'm going to start there but I'm going to run over to Kelethin and I'll, I'll cut away from that so you don't have to watch me do that. But anyway, uh, I'm not going to play the tutorial. I went into Advanced and it, you know, it loads you up on Stamina and Wisdom. I took some, some Wisdom off and some stamina off and, and got my strength up to 75 because uh, I don't know if it's still the case but it used to be a penalty if, if any of your stats were under 75 and in the new EverQuest stats really aren't relevant to be honest with you if I were to go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go kind of a traditional path here and avoid some of the gear that I can avoid but even so even a lot of the newbie gear that was added in I think the Planes of Power era or whatnot are, <coughs> are really good so starting stats aren't really that important anymore on the new progression server they will be but um, for now I would probably just stick everything in the charisma and strength <laughs> just so I can get better deals buying and selling I am playing on um, I'm playing on Vox the Vox server which is the the previous uh, oh, I'm gonna do a name here the previous progression server and um, I have a lot of characters that are 100, you know, 100 plus level characters. The max level right now, as of March 2015, is 105. But um, I'm going to play on a brand new server, so I don't have any money or anything. Just starting from scratch, kind of get a little taste of the upcoming progression server. Um, yes, I know it's not the true progression server, but um, anyway, get a little playthrough here with my druid. I'm not sure what I'm going to play on the progression server yet. So let's get a name for this guy. Um, hmm. I'm sure... Uh, I'm sure... Let's see here. Let's see here. There hasn't been as many names made on this server because it's the most recent one, but still. Uh, what kind of name can I get here? Something starts with a B. I was going to say Balder, but that sounds like uh, Baldur's Gate or something. And I try to, I try not to pick um, crafty, nifty names like, you know, that create some interesting name combination like um, Michelin Man or, or you know, Minute Maid or whatever. But also don't want to be like Starfire Mist Wolf, ooh, or something like that. You know, that's a little cheesy, too cheesy for me. So let's see How about Holder. Um, not trying to do anything crafty with it, just just the name. Let's see if I get that. Does that work? Been rejected. Uh, how about Holder? That's a decent name. Rejected. Um, how does that look? Holder? Uh, I don't like the U in there. Holder? We'll try that. Yay! It take it took. All right. So um, let's see. We're gonna start in Crescent Reach. And I am going to, uh, I might, I might kill a couple things. I'm going to go get my, well, let's just see here. I'm going to get my newbie gear, not my newbie gear, my little apprentice vest or tunic or whatever, my little 2AC item. And, um, what else am I going to get? Um, I don't, oh, I'm going to get my backpack out of the bank and then I'm going to head over to Kelethon. And from there, I am going to bind and then get ready to kill some spiders and snakes. And hopefully I don't get kicked by the snakes too hard. So let's see. We're going to start right here. And I'll run over and get my, uh, <clears throat> I'll run over and get my tunic. And you know what? Oh, I got to get all this set up. I got to get all this set up. So anyway, um, let me do that, and then I'll be right back, and I'll be in Kelethon. All right, folks, I'm back, and I'm here in Kelethon now. I made it my way to the Soulbinder, oaked out. So, hail, Soulbinder, bind my soul, please. And I am bound. While I was uh, traveling through the plane of knowledge, I picked up a mercenary, and um, my little backstory, I guess, is that Helder. Elder was sent off to um, Crescent's Reach. His family had requested he go train there with the Druids. But 
he got himself in a little bit of trouble. He had somehow, for some reason, made friends with Teichner here. Uh, and um, he was kicked out of uh, school in uh, Crescent's Reach. So reluctantly, he came home to his father and family's dismay. And uh, Teichner also got kicked out. And since Kyledon was close by, he knew his father would not... Um, be happy at all, so he decided to come hang out here with Helder. And uh, Helder said, you know, he came from a fairly wealthy family, said he would pay him some money to come help out, so Teichner's here. We are bound. I have uh, no money. Oh, I have three gold. Um, I don't know how I got the three gold. I, when I was in Crescent Reach, I killed a rabbit. Maybe I got money from selling help I guess all right um, oh this is what the rabbit dropped also a worn scatter cloud wrist guard AC2 Ooh. all right so anyway there's what I have uh, empty I claimed this on my account and um, I claimed uh, a couple of saddles desert Kangan and severed hand <clears throat> just so I could um, run over here with speed, but the only buffs I have, somebody gave me a spirit wolf and my own skin like wood, and that's all I got. So uh, we are off. I removed the uh, buff from the hand so I could do this for reals. And uh, okay, where am I now? Do I go this way? It's been a long time since I've been in Kelathan. So let's see here. General Merchant. I'm going to have to get me some uh, bags. First thing when I play, save up enough money, six gold to get bags. That's what I got to get. So, all right. I guess I should have asked for some uh, quest for um, the newbie armor while I was up there. It's not hard to get that, but it's, I mean, it's not necessarily easy either. I click those ores off. I don't need those. So, all right, let's get going. Oh, let's kill some of these wolves, Teichner, because we can get um, pelts from them, and we can, uh, come on, come on. We can get pelts from the wolves and make armor. Well, there's an orc centurion. That thing's got to be a red con. Yeah. All right, so Teichner, you're going to be main tank. And I'm going to be main assist. So. Alright. And you got a pelt for me? Yeah. What you got? What you got? What you got? Um, where's my loot? Oh, it's here. Black wolf skin. Alright. Ooh. Don't want that. Do I want the, I do want this orc pond. I don't know if I can take him yet. But we're going to try. Come on, Techner. Let's do it. Let me get rid of these. I got some hot keys here from a previous druid that I had. And I'm not, uh. <coughs> they're not really usable. Well, actually, I'm gonna hide looted. I don't know why I have those. I'm gonna put these down here. And. Let's see, auto fire. Auto fire, that's a. For my ranger, how did I have those? I uh, should have this and this and this. Come on, Techner. Fine, I don't need that there. Let's put sit here. All right. Got me a uh, orc skull. Well, I, I think I might need that for. Um, I think I might need that. For the newbie armor, but those are pretty easy to come by, I think. So I'll just wait. Oh, black wolf! I need to get enough money so I can get my nuke because that's how I'm gonna pull. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull with my nuke. I'm gonna start this forge button. Bam! Forge. Look at that. And uh, uh, we'll just we'll just drop this in somewhere. It doesn't matter. All right. What you got? You got me a pelt. Ooh, look at all that. Ruined wolf pelt, ruined animal pelt. Oh, here's another black wolf. Sweet. 
I don't know how long it's going to take to get to level 2. Look at me, I'm already halfway to level 2. That's crazy. When I first started playing EQ in 1999, I didn't, I didn't start when the game came out. I think it was March 1999 when the game actually came out. I ha I didn't play from the launch, but I did play not too, too long after that. Oh, there's an Orpon. I'm the assist. What are you doing, Teichner? Why aren't you assisting me? Oh, Teichner. Um, anyway, I didn't play when the game first came out. But I did. Oh, I gotta heal. But I started playing in late late 1999 so anyway just the original game was out no expansions yet oh, I'm gonna have to like turn into a little cleric here um, and oh my gosh it took like forever to level back then um, I can't wait for the new progression server to come out because um, the last one the experience was rough really rough and uh, um, it's like give me an idea I got into EQ because my uh, a friend of mine, we played some military type games. Uh, I think we were playing Delta Force, I think, if you're old enough to know that. And uh, he's like, uh, I knew about EverQuest because I used to play Magic the Gathering. Well, I still do on and off. But um, anyway, I played, and two people that were just hardcore Magic players from like a group of guys that I was friends with. They just disappeared off the face of the earth. Never saw them after that. It was like just ridiculous. And um, they, uh, I heard that they started playing EverQuest, and they just gave up playing Magic like on the spot. I mean, that was their Magic was their life. That's everything. Everything they did revolved around Magic. And so I was like, man, that game must be really um, addictive. And psh, didn't know the half of it. But anyway. Um, so my friend's like, hey, play it. So he told me to play it. So I went and bought it like on a Wednesday or a Thursday after um, after work. And I installed it on my computer, I think. I think I bought it on a Wednesday, and I installed it on my computer on a Thursday night. And then I all Thursday night I let it update. Um and because you know I had to patch and whatnot and this was way back during the dial-up age when people were still on dial-up I was on dial-up I think DSL might have been available but it wasn't something that was like common for everybody to have um, because I, I know I knew it was there and it was kind of expensive at first but the apartments I lived in at the time didn't have DSL capability for some reason. I don't know why, but it didn't. And so I wasn't dial up. Anyway, so downloaded it took forever and then getting off on a tangent here, sorry. But um I had the game downloaded uh Friday when I got home from work. It was about five and I decided oh, I'm gonna get started playing and started playing it. Wasn't like I was kinda like, really? This is this is it this is the game? This was everybody's addicted to, and I wasn't really impressed. But I was like, I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm gonna give it a chance. And you know, six o'clock comes around, seven o'clock comes around. It was a little more entertaining, and it was hard. Oh my god, it was hard. This is like in the early days of the internet, so there wasn't um, there was a. Uh, a few sites that had sprung up, but nothing like, you know, like there is today with game sites. But by about 10 o'clock, I was like, you know what, I, I like this game. This game's pretty cool. I can dig it. And I think I was maybe level 2 on the first night. I think I dinged level 2. And anyway, the next uh, the next night, let's see, 428 and 430. Yeah, we'll take that bad boy. I'm going to delete this because I don't need that snowdrop. Can't sell it. So, um, really, honestly, the next day I woke up kind of early and I was like, all right, I'm ready to play. 
and I think the first night I stayed up till about two. And then the next morning I woke up with just the itch to play, and I played all freaking day. Yay! Ding ding ding! From morning to night I played and played and played and played, and I was hooked by midway through the day. I was just glued to my chair, couldn't think of anything else but this game, and um, I grinded and grinded and grinded and grinded and. By Sunday evening, a friend of mine who was do he used to do like um, military uh, ooh ripen heart fruit. I need that for the epic. I think um, he used to do the the like civil war reenactment stuff. And um, anyway, he came home. He came to my apartment. It was Sunday night. I'd been playing just hardly any sleep. I was level five after a whole weekend, all Friday night, all day Saturday, all day Sunday. And he's like, oh my god, dude, you must have been playing nonstop if you're already level 5. Imagine that, if you're already level 5 after three days of playing. And that's how crazy it was. I didn't know anything about the game. Maybe other people level faster than me, I'm sure there were some. Especially the people that were in beta and whatnot, or had friends, but I was all by myself. And I was running around with no armor, no nothing didn't understand the idea of AC, I didn't have any experience with Dungeons and Dragons or anything like that, or any role-playing games at all, so the idea of AC and armor was not something that I was aware of. So, ooh, what is this? Crude Defiant Breastplate, that's pretty nice. Maybe I can trade that for something. Alright, so we are level 2 now. And I got me a cloth cord, one AC. I got me a scatter cloud, a wrist guard, two AC, and a an apprentice stomach, two AC. Man, I am rocking it out. This is better gear than I had after after uh, five levels back in 1991, 1999 rather. So, okay, let's kill this guy. And I think Teichner here is still level one, right? Because he doesn't level up with me. Mercs don't. So, let's see here. I need to sell some of this stuff and go get me my level 1 spell. Train at the Guildmaster. So, let me kill this guy. And I need to zone so I can get my, my guy to level 2 with me. Um, I think that's what I gotta do. I gotta zone, and I think. I can just go to Plane of Knowledge over here. Somewhere. Where's the Plane of Knowledge? I think I'll do that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut here. And um, I'm going to go zone so he can level. And uh, I'll meet you guys at the Guildmaster for the next part. This has been Pixel. Signing off on Helder the Druid here. Uh, catch you later. Bye. Love you.